Hi everyone, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. I don't want to talk too much. We have a quiz waiting for you. It will be a series of questions to challenge your ear training ability, your music theory ability, all with respect to the subject of intervals. And in this set of quiz questions, we are focusing on chords and bass. So you will have to not li listen to the top interval very often, which we normally do with all these apps out there. You will be listening to the very, very bottom. You'll have to look at the interval which connects the chords. You'll have to listen to the roots of the chords. Pretty much a lot of the bass register in music. So I'm hoping that this will start off your journey to discover the bass in music. Because it's a very fast decision. You know, you hear C in the bass. You figure out, oh, it's it sounds sad. So it's probably a minor chord or it sounds very dreamy and eerie. So it may be an augmented chord. It sounds a bit unstable. It sounds like it wants to go somewhere. So it may be a dominant seventh chord. It sounds just happy and stable. So our good old major. But you need to first hear that C. You need to know that it's, you know, C in there or A flat or B flat or F. So once you figure that out, you can then, your ear will go to the next level, so to speak. You've heard it as do and then it's C minor. So the foundation for developing your ear sense, especially when it comes to harmony, well, also any form of other ear training. If you want to find intervals, you have to also do it with respect to the bass. Now the challenge with apps out there is an app will just tend to focus the problem or try to focus the problem. It will give you one note and then give you the next note. Like, you will have to tell the interval. But that is isolating the problem. I don't think you can isolate the problem in a real world song on Spotify or watching something on YouTube, right? Because you hear everything at once. How will you know what's going on? So you need to dig, dig deep, find the bass. And there are a few strategies also for enhancing the bass when you're listening to a song. You could use a graphic equalizer and try and boost the bass frequencies. That would be helpful. Or we've done a specific video and a lot of videos on ear training, which we leave you in the description. One of them is ear training for the bass specifically. So do check that out. Okay, that's enough of me talking. Let's get to the quiz. As always, with a Nathaniel School quiz, we are going to start with me briefing you on what the question is about and then kind of giving you a tip along the way, hopefully. And once the question is over, pause the video, figure out your answer, write it down, sing it, play it or whatever. And then I will give you the answer and the explanation and what you need to focus on along the way. Let's get cracking. Right. So in this question, there are two chords played. There are the triads basically. So you have to figure out the interval that connects the two chords, the roots of the two chords. And just to give you a little bit of a tip or a hint, these two chords are minors. So don't base your answer on the sound of the two chords. The chords are minor, but they are separated by what interval. So you have to figure out whether the interval is stable or unstable. Does it sound like a mystery? Does it sound like a tension? And based on that, you can get your answer. So here goes. So just to give you a hint in the hopefully the right direction, there is C which is the root of the C minor first chord and then you go to the A flat, A flat minor, A flat minor, do, do, do. so a minor chord is 1 flat, 3 flat, 5. So the roots are C and the A flat. Now if you're not able to get C to the A flat, you can do C to the A flat, to do. So I hope you got the answer right. The answer happens to be minor sixth. Hope you got it right. Let's move forward. So don't worry if you didn't get that one. Here's another similar question to guess the intervals between the chords. Right, so another set of two chords being played for you. Again, two similar minors. Try to figure this out.
So the two minor chords would be A flat minor going to C minor and they are separated by a major third interval. So major third is the interval that interconnects the two chords. Get your roots again. So that will be do A flat to C. Hope you got that. All the best. Let's move on. So moving on to a slightly different question. You have to guess or figure out the base roots of these four chords being played. So there are four chords. It could be major, minor or whatever. Your job is to figure out the roots, the lowest possible frequency. And to help you with this, you can also use an equalizer software and kind of remove out all the high end or keep more of the low end as you figure it out. Okay. The chord quality may tell you major or minor. Or it may tell you diminished, augmented, dominant 7. But at the end of the day, you need to know the roots. So this question is about the roots. Let me give you a hint. The first note is G, do. That's your root. So now if you hear it back again. Do, 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 or else do, 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 if you want to go lower. So those are your roots. So G is the root. 2 will be the minor third. 2 or 2, which will be the flat 6 or flat 6, minor 6th. And then 2, the dominant, the 5. Do, 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 do. So the chord qualities would be G minor, B flat major, E flat dominant and D dominant. Do, 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 do. Hope you got that. Try harder next time if you didn't. So if you're finding that tricky, I would suggest that you head over to our description. There are a lot more ear training videos waiting for you. We also do Instagram quizzes on Saturdays on our Instagram page. So do make sure to follow us on Insta. You'll get some regular things there. You can also do a structured course at Nathaniel. Plan out a semester where you develop your years and focus a lot more on these sort of aspects of music. It will help you a lot as a player, songwriter, composer, producer and whatnot. Right everyone, so in this particular quiz question, there are five bass notes. And don't get too scared. They are very similar to each other. We'll figure that out. So that's my only tip right now. Five bass notes very similar to each other. So let's give it a listen. And you need to figure out the answer intervalically. One more clue. The last note will be or the last chord would be the root of the scale. So wait for the last one. So five chords coming your way. Right, so let's figure out this answer. The tip would be the bass notes are going in a linear direction up to the root. So, do, 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 do. so the eventual root would be F sharp major. Do, do. So it's going from do, 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 do. that would be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Ma, Pa, Dha, Ni, Sa. What would that be in terms of F sharp major? If you write that down, B, C sharp, D sharp, F, also known as E sharp and then F sharp, 2, that's your root. Right, so the next one is pretty interesting. There are There's a, there's a bass line and the bass line is played on three different roots or three different tonal centers or keys if you will. And your job is to figure out what the other two are with respect to the first one which we'll consider as the root. Okay, let's give it a listen. So 
the main riff on A would be do 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 do. That's A, but then from A it goes down a minor seventh to G, and then do 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 do. The bass plays the same thing from A to G, and then after G it goes up a perfect fourth to D. So A B C D A D D D F G da 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 da. So the roots would be A G D. Dum 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 dum. G dum 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 dum. D dum 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 dum. Hope you had fun with that. Let's move forward. Thanks a ton for attempting the quiz. I don't know how well you did, so let me know in the comments right away. We need to know your feedback to see how we can script future quizzes. And uh, let us know if there are any topics what you find challenging. We'll be happy to make a detailed lesson on the same. As always, this is Jason Zack from Nathaniel School of Music. Thanks a ton for taking part in our quiz. Cheers.